anybody can get TB. Most people, about 90%, who develop the disease are adults, and it commonly affects more males than females in their most productive years. So it is economically devastating to families. TB is caused by a germ, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, that is transmitted through the air when a person who is sick with TB coughs or sneezes. <laughs> A healthy person can get infected from breathing in those germs. TB cannot be spread by sharing food, eating utensils or clothes. It is not transmitted through physical contact, example through shaking of hand, by sharing sexual contact. TB usually affects the lungs but may affect other parts of the body as well. It is a serious disease but it can be cured with a combination of medications. Without correct and complete treatment, a patient can become very ill and can die from TB. TB treatment is free of charge. Taking the medicines as prescribed will help you feel better and will also help you prevent spreading the disease to others. It is important to take all medicines as directed to keep the TB germs from developing resistance to the medicines as prescribed, which then requires a much more complicated and longer treatment. Drug-resistant TB is a form of TB that does not respond to the usual TB medicine. It can be resistant to one or many of the available anti-TB medicines and is therefore a health security threat. People with TB, especially drug-resistant TB, may also be co-infected with HIV. Therefore, it is strongly recommended that you get tested to know your HIV status and receive treatment as well if needed. Taking TB treatment for six to 18 months can be difficult but it is very important to do so to avoid getting sick again. To help patients take treatment properly and get cured, different forms of treatment support will be provided for you. You have several options for how and where you will receive your medicines and you can choose the best option for you. Based on your health condition, the health worker will decide and explain how long your treatment will be the frequency of your visits and where to go for treatment or additional tests. We encourage you to receive your treatment from home so you can remain close to your family, friends and work. However, we recommend getting admitted into a hospital facility if you are feeling too sick at the moment, but you will be discharged to receive care at the community as soon as you are strong enough to do so. Anti-TB medicines can have side effects in some people. Most side effects are minor and may disappear over time. Your health provider will review the serious side effects to watch out for and you should report back to the facility immediately so these side effects can be treated properly. Spartan tests will be repeated to monitor improvement in your condition. They will be repeated at set individuals and at the end of your treatment several other tests including blood tests we done periodically to carefully monitor your body's response to the anti-tb medicines tell us if you plan to relocate so we can arrange for you to continue treatment without interruptions we will be careful about keeping your records in a secure location and not revealing them to others you can prevent the spread of TB to others by starting your treatment immediately, taking medicines that are prescribed by your health provider according to the recommended schedule, cough into your bent elbow, cover your mouth and nose with a handkerchief when you cough or sneeze, open windows to allow proper ventilation with fresh air into your home. Limit close contact with young children, the elderly, or other people with weakened immune systems in the first stage of your treatment. 
All your family members in close contact, especially those less than five years and persons living with HIV, need to be screened for TB and treated if needed.